when I saw these bees from this aircraft carrier in this weird place, I could tell right away that they were just at their limit. By the time I get to the bees, they're very exhausted. When they're swarming, they're looking for a place to live and you don't know how long they've been out there. You don't know what they've been through. It was kind of a dire situation for them. Right away, I just set up my box and I started scooping them with my hand and trying to get them in. And I always set up my box so that they can march into the entrance so that they can go in easily. People always say, well, why don't they just fly? Why are they crawling or why are they running? And it's like, well, why don't you run everywhere? Because it's tiring <laughs> and these bees were super exhausted. They just started rushing into my box and they were very enthusiastic and they fanned their little wings to tell each other, like, come this way, come this way. I try to get the biggest handful possible and keep them together because they want to be together. They feel protected and safe. So I try to get a big handful right away into the box. It's been over a year since I rescued these bees from a jet on the USS Midway. Let's see how they're doing. These beauties are in the process of expanding right now. When bees make new comb, it's a sign that they're really healthy, that they're happy, and also that the environment they're in is really good. To this day, the aircraft carrier jet rescue is still definitely top of the list, craziest, coolest removal ever done. It's just an amazing feeling to take a colony that was so stressed when I got them, just see them explode in population and thrive. It's just like a warm, fuzzy feeling. My relationship with bees just was really organic. I started out just reading about them and right away I just feel like I fell in love with them. I never bought bees. I started right away just rescuing them and people started finding out that I was doing that and more people would call me. Beautiful. I think one of the most common misconceptions about bees is that they are kind of out to get people, that they're just flying around and they're ready to sting. When actually bees don't want to sting, that's not their goal. They're just out living their lives, trying to find flowers. And if they come up to you, it's very unlikely that they're trying to sting you. They might just think that you smell nice or that you have an, a bright color on, or they're just tired.